Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making a chocolate fudge cake. This is quite a simple cake to make and I'm going to make it in an 8 inch or 20 centimetre square cake tin which I've lined with parchment paper and then I'm going to uh, put a frosting on top of it and then maybe some sprinkles on top of that. So for the ingredients I have 200 grams of butter unsalted. I have 200 grams of muscovado sugar. I'm using a mixture of light muscovado and dark muscovado but you can use uh, either light, dark or, or a mixture of both. I have 200 grams of uh, dark chocolate, that's 55% cocoa solids. I have 25 grams of cocoa powder. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Two medium eggs which I will beat. Uh, 100 millilitres of sour cream, 200 grams of self-raising flour. And then for the frosting I have 170 millilitres of condensed milk, 100 grams of dark chocolate and 100 grams of butter. So I'll set those to the side and I'll set the flour and the cocoa powder and the salt to the side as well with the eggs and the sour cream. So these three ingredients, the butter, um, the chocolate and the uh, muscovado sugar, I'm going to put into a saucepan with 100 millilitres of hot water and I'm going to gently heat those and stirring them until they're melted. So as you can see, it's just about melted now. Just the last remnants of the butter to melt. And you could make the rest of the recipe in this pan, but I'm going to put it into a large bowl just for ease of uh, filming. Okay, so that's cooled down a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is put in the soured cream and with that stirred around I'm going to add in the eggs which I've beaten a little bit And stir them around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift in the salt, the flour and the cocoa powder. And this is mainly because the cocoa powder tends to be lumpy and you need to break that down. And then I'm going to stir it in until it's combined and that's all there is to it. Now I do have my oven preheating at 160 Celsius, that's 140 Celsius with a fan, 320 Fahrenheit. So that's ready for the cake to go in just as soon as we've mixed it and put it in the tin. Thank you. 
Now I saw this recipe on BBC Good Food and they used a slightly larger cake tin than I'm using but I think that should be fine. So I'm mixing that until um, I don't really see any lumps. A few won't matter but I don't want lots of lumps in it. I'll just knock that flour off and incorporate that as well. And then we're going to pour that into our prepared cake tin. And we're going to put that in the oven and we're going to bake it for between 50 to 60 minutes. I would test it after 50 minutes with a skewer to see if it comes out clean. And as soon as it comes out clean I will take it out and put it onto a wire rack to cool down. So that goes into the oven and then we'll get on and uh, make our frosting so that that can also be cooling down. So for the frosting we're going to take our butter and our chocolate and our condensed milk and we're going to put those in a double boiler or a bain-marie and just gently melt them and mix them together. So I have the hot water in the pan and I'll put the butter and the chocolate and the condensed milk all in together and then we'll stir those as they, as they gradually melt. You just keep stirring it until all the chocolate pieces have melted because the butter and the condensed milk are all incorporated now and once the chocolate has melted you just take it off the heat and let it cool down. You can chill it in the fridge but I'll let mine cool down at room temperature while the cake is baking and cooling and that should be good enough. That should then be a nice spreadable consistency. So that's our frosting made. I'm going to set that to one side and just let that cool down ready to go onto the cake when that's cooled down as well. So. I'll be back with you when I've taken the cake out and let it cool down and we're ready to do the, the spreading. Well I'm back with you and our cake has cooled down and uh, so has uh, our 
frosting. So I've turned the cake out and I've turned it upside down simply because it's uh, flatter on the bottom than it is on the top. And all I'm going to do is to put the lovely thick frosting onto the top and spread it over. Then I'm going to add some sparkles, sprinkles sparkles, sprinkles just um, for effect basically. And then I'm going to chill it so that it firms up just a bit more then I'm going to cut it. So basically it's just a question of spreading this lovely thick topping and I think that's just about as good as I need it because I'm now going to cover that with the sprinkles, sparkle sprinkles which I don't usually use but So with that, I'm actually going to put that back in the fridge and I'm going to let that chill a bit more before I cut it. So I'll come back and I'll cut it once I've chilled the frosting a little bit more. Okay, well I'm back with you and I've cut our cake. And so this is what it looks like. I've just cut it into these shapes. So uh, I'll have a little taste of it. Mm. The cake itself is nice and light, very chocolatey, light sponge cake, and then the lovely sort of fudgy frosting as well. So that's gone, for me, gone very well indeed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video, and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, as ever, there will be an eye that you can click on to get to the recipe in my blog I'll put a link to that below the video as well and I'll be back with you in the near future with another recipe so until then happy baking <laughs>